Courtney here at the Yellowstone Wildlife Sanctuary and today we will be talking about um, something that's pretty important to us and a message that we really feel like um, we should just constantly be sharing. Come springtime, um, animals are starting to give birth and a lot of times people will find these baby animals and wonder what they need to do with them. With me today, Cooper and Mika. Mika um, is a wild raccoon as she was hit by a car and her leg was so uh, badly damaged that she actually had that leg amputated. And so after that leg was amputated, her rehabbers felt that um, she would not be able to survive like a normal, healthy wild raccoon. And so she came to live with us at the sanctuary after that amputation. Our other raccoon is Cooper. He's the larger of the two. And Cooper came to us um, as, an, as a raccoon that was raised in captivity. So he uh, was found um, really young and then raised with a family. And so he became very imprinted on people. Raccoons are really common animals. Uh, they, their ability to adapt to any environment, uh, climates, uh, they can, they're omnivores, so they eat a wide variety of foods. Um, they have very strong hands that they can use to crack things open and, and grab things. And so this ability to be able to adapt to all kinds of environments has made uh, raccoons really widespread. And so for that reason, we see them a lot in urban areas where people live. Um, they've learned, you know, that they can nest in chimneys, uh, that they can find food maybe in trash bins. And so we see them a lot more commonly in urban areas than we would an animal that's more specialized to an environment and needs really kind of wild areas in order to survive and wild foods. And so because of that, we often have a human wildlife conflict with raccoons. And one of those being that they will build nests um, around our homes. And because we can see them more often, we're gonna be more likely to notice uh, if a parent doesn't come back for an extended period of time which is totally normal in in the wild we get dozens of phone calls every year of people who find baby raccoons um, maybe they've noticed that they haven't seen um, an adult raccoon coming around and taking care of them and so oftentimes unfortunately people have already taken those baby raccoons um, away from uh, where the nest was and now they're trying to find somebody to uh, to raise them a rehabber per se um, so unfortunately in Montana there are no rehab centers that take in raccoons and so what happens um, is that people will find these babies and then they will take them away from their parents and now their parents might come back and think that um, maybe their babies have been eaten by a predator. The first thing we really want to encourage people to do is to not touch um, any baby animals that you see. So it's really common for wildlife deer, raccoons, mountain lions to leave their young behind as they go out and forage and hunt for food. And so what you're seeing is um, an extended period of time and it can be for hours. Um, even with mountain lion cubs, their mom might be gone for a couple days at a time. And so what you're seeing is, you know, that, that parent is out there um, finding food, finding energy so that she can come back and continue to nurse and care for her young. And so the first thing that you should do is just leave wildlife where it is um, call you know any local authorities uh, that you can talk to about what you should do and they'll probably encourage you just to kind of watch um, that animal over the course of a few days. So you can help us keep wildlife wild. So if you see a baby animal this spring, um, just remember, leave it there. Uh, call somebody if you really think that this animal is abandoned or orphaned. Um, see if you can get a, a rehabber to come out. Um, but the best thing to do is just leave them there. And if there's nothing we can do for this animal, um, as sad as it is, sometimes the best option is to let nature play out its natural roles um, and to kind of let that, that circle complete itself. Um, so we thank you guys for hanging out with us today and we will be back shortly with uh, more videos.